welcome back to my channel and welcome to such an exciting vlog. I feel like I say this every time, but today we are going to the Gallops. I've bought a cake. I've literally bought a birthday cake. I'm gonna bring a flask of tea. The sun is shining. Damn, I am just, you know, I'm over this show life. I am recognising that the nerves, the stress, the early mornings, the sh... I can't say that on YouTube. The beep! Annoying long drives, the amount of money, time, effort, fuel, disappointment. It's just not worth it. It's not why I do horses anymore. Having fun is why I have a horse. It's why I have Bossy. So I have planned to go to the gallops. I'm going by myself with Bossy. My mum's coming along too, probably for the free cake and tea. Uh, and we are going to have a blast. I charged my head cam last night. So I'm going to go get some head cam footage for you. I've charged my AirPods. I'm going to be listening to some great EDM dance music, getting me in the mood whilst I'm on those gallops. I even bought some safety goggles, which I'm trying to recreate as jockey goggles because I'm wearing contact like lenses and i'm not joking vossi goes so quick the last time i went to the gallops my eyes were streaming and i also lost a contact lens don't need that happening again because i'm so blind and i have to drive home with the trailer so i need to keep my contact lenses in in my eyes and in check in order for me to be able to drive home so i bought a pair of those bad boy safety goggles which four nine i think are like 4.99 can't go wrong from screw fix um so yeah i'm super excited um I am going to now head to the yard because I've obviously got my jobs to do. You guys know what I've got to do. I want to soak a hay net for the gallops. Because basically, after we've been to the gallops, I assume Vossi's going to be really sweaty. So I want to make sure I've got a good amount of water packed, sponge, bucket, so I can sponge him down. I want to also pack my dry rug so that once he's been sponged down, he can also have his rug on after to encourage him to dry better. That's sort of like good fleecy material with like air vents in it um i've got to muck out i've got to do feeds got to do nets uh, i've got to hitch up the usual and uh yeah we can head off and have a really good day i'm kind of stressing a little bit nothing to do with horses but thought i'd tell you anyway <laughs> story time uh tomorrow i'm going to hospital because i'm having my final wisdom tooth taken out so i haven't had the best of luck with my teeth my whole life i've had loads of teeth taken out because of overcrowding um i previously had two wisdom teeth taken out via being put to sleep it's a bit of a weird term that isn't it with um with the whole riding with charlotte put to sleep situation means putting horse to sleep but no not being literally put to sleep but actually me being put to sleep when i had the procedure done so of course i didn't know what was going on i just woke up burst out into tears because i was like where am i and then i was like oh yeah i'm in hospital uh but no one of the, so i had two taken out via being put to sleep one just grew down and came through with no problems and unfortunately the one remaining is a problem so tomorrow um I am having it taken out, but this time around, I'm not being put to sleep to have it take. Um, the term I'm using, the term I'm looking for is general anaesthetic. I'm not going under general anaesthetic. I'm actually apparently going to be really high. And I said to her, I was like, why didn't I have this option three years ago when I have mother check? She's like, well, that option wasn't available then, but now you can get her. I mean, she Obviously, she didn't say it like that because that would be very unprofessional. But she basically said it wasn't an option back then, but now it is. So I'm really scared to have someone cut my gum open, yank a tooth out, which, oh, by the way, I'm absolutely terrified. I didn't tell you why I was stressed because apparently after my CT scan was done, you can actually see the wisdom tooth is actually connected to a nerve. And I've basically been told I have a high chance of losing my nerve from my lower, my lower jaw and my tongue on my lower lip, which means... I basically almost started crying in front of the doctor. I was like, are you joking? I'm a single woman aged almost 30. I was like, I cannot be sitting on a date dribbling in front of people. I don't think it's going to be um, something I'm going to be able to take very well. I was like, please, can we do everything in place to prevent this from happening? So they've basically said they're going to slice the tooth in half and leave the root in. Guys, I've heard so many horror stories about people who have had roots left wisdom roots left in the mouth and then they've infected guys i'm going to israel in three weeks i cannot have my wisdom tooth root being infected can you imagine like it would just ruin my holiday completely 
uh so yeah it's a bit of a stress but let's ignore that if any of you have any horror stories about wisdom teeth please do not leave them in the comment section below because i just do not need that additional stress this video is all about positivity i want to hear your great stories of when you've been to the gallops and the great memories that you have when you've been to the gallops so without further ado let's keep those positive vibes and i'm gonna head to the yard and get bossy ready just arrived at the yard and mr bossy is cruising Bye. He's got new grass, so he's just like, uh, nah, I'm grazing hung. Right, so I've just finished um, hitching up. It's a bit of a sticky one this morning, not gonna lie. Anyway, check these bad boys out. The, the safety goggles I was talking about from Screwfix. Guys, I'm not even joking. I feel like Nanny McPhee, you know, when she like uses her little magic motorcycle to travel to Chelsea from the countryside. I literally feel like that is the look I've got right now. But $4.99, you can't go wrong, guys. I'm absolutely loving it to protect my eyes and my contact lenses. <laughs> Just arrived, tacked Voss up, and we are on the gallops. As you can see, I've got my uh, head cam attached. Um, for those of you wondering, it is a cam box MK version 3. Got this donks ago. Um, but yeah, someone's a bit eager. Oh, the sun's shining and it's such a dream. It is like, let me let me flip the camera around and show you how beautiful this scenery is. So you can see the trailer in the distance. Guys, this is my view. How amazing. Unreal. Boss, you are loving it, aren't you? On a little mission. On a little mission. Oh, what a dream. What a dream. Look at you. No mission. Hey. Hey. What a dream, Voss. You're going to stretch. Have a nice stretch. Stretchy. What a dream. Hey. What a dream. Good boy. Good boy. No, 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 no. Crikey, you want a canter already? Have you just got on your boss? Have you just got on you, Mr. V? Crikey, you feel so springy. Okay, so I'm not even in a rising trot. I am literally in jockey position already. You having a little look, see what's going on? You are so springy off this surface. God, I feel... No, 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 no. No, Vossy. Vossy. Voss. Voss. Right, okay, let's... Steady. Don't spook at this... What's someone done? Oh, no, leaves. Well, how did I know you were going to spook at that? Voss. Stop breaking into cancer. Voss. Boss, boss, we're gonna trot, we're gonna trot. Come on. Boss, this trot is next level. <laughs> ah, well, no, 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 boss. Bus. 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 Woo. Ah, woo. 
We'll see. We'll see. Whoa. Boss. Can we just relax? Relax. Relax. Why do you keep spooking? Okay. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Let's walk. Let's walk. Oh, there's one of those. Oh my god. There's one of those aeroplanes that. Or is that a fake aeroplane? Oh, I think someone's flying it. Oh my god, is that a drone? It's a drone. That's a noisy ass drone, isn't it, boss? That's a noisy ass drone! Guys, I left my blimmin' goggles by the car, which is somewhere all the way over there. And Mum's all the way down here on the track to film me. So, uh, I've had a lot of streaming eyes today. <laughs> what a blast though. Literally, what a dream this place is. I just love the gallops. Now I don't have my Windsor Pass, I'm gonna aim to come here at least once or twice a month just to keep him ticking over. And it's great fitness work and it's so peaceful and quiet. Like. Oh, I wish I lived here. Right, Mum's done quite a bit of footage on uh, foot for me, but uh, I'm going to bring you guys along and do a one-handed gallop with my camera. So, here we go. Right, Mr. Voss, you ready? He's a little bit tired now, so you're not going to get his biggest gallop, but uh, he, sure, he sure has still got some energy in him, haven't you? You always do. Come then. he just he just gave me the most incredible feeling i mean unfortunately the first gallop we didn't get on camera because mum for some reason was by the car but i didn't even anticipate my first gallop to happen when it did i was just trotting and cantering and then he just said i'm going now mummy hold on tight it was so fast it felt like i was flying it felt like there was no stride there's a trot there's a walk trot canter gallop stride right gait I don't know what this gate was, but I'm going to call it the Vossy Fly because that is literally how it felt. We were zooming. Didn't have a chance to put my goggles on. What a waste of money that was, but uh, I'll give them to Dad to use for his DIY work. But uh, yeah, actually brilliant time. Just beat the stress of going to a show by a million miles. I've loved it. He's loved it. I haven't been stressed. He hasn't been stressed. He's just loved every single second of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk him off a bit because he's still puffing quite a bit. Uh, and then I'm going to untack him and we bought some water and some sponges. I'm just going to sponge him off because uh, as you can see, he's rather sweaty and my tack is full of sweat too, which is going to need a clean off. But uh, yeah, brilliant. So untacked Mr. Boss. He's just having a munch on his hay and I've just got a bucket and some water because he got very sweaty, didn't you, darling? So I'm just going to give him a sponge down while he nibbles on some hay. And then I'm gonna have some tea and cake, which is what I really came here for. Hey, boss. Well, look at this for a setup. First of all, views to die for. Second of all, Vossie's happy. He's had a good old leg stretch and had some hay. Look at this. Nice flask of tea. Nice and hot. And some cake. Yum, yum, yum. Hey, 
save us. Yum. Mum's hidden because she doesn't want to be on camera. Mum, are you going to have some cake? There she is, hiding because she doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> well, just got home. I did hot cloth Fossey off and I've just popped out his turnout rug. Popped out. I've just popped on his turnout rug and popped him back out in the field for a couple more hours so he gets to enjoy the sunshine. Thank you so much for tuning in to another vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly had an absolute blast. I love these kind of vlogs because there's no pressure on my end and I can just genuinely have such a good time and share it all with you. So thanks so much once again and I will hopefully see you soon. Take care. Bye.